Good morning, grandkids. Well, I'm back from PAX, safe and sound, and we are gonna start our new series. But first off, uh, first things first, I am sponsored by Doghouse Systems on my videos, and they are partnered with Jinx, who sells various items of interest, like t-shirts and caps and pants and so on. And if you go to Doghouse Systems and look at what they have for sale, which they have built my system and it's great, and the guys there are great. If you buy from them and mention the code word Granny, they will also send you, when they send your PC, um, $25 code to spend at Jinx. So the links are listed down below my video. And uh, so look them up. They're great guys, and they've been good to me. Now, I wanted to let you know that we are going to start the Deadeye series with Garrett Deadeye and his two followers. You will recognize them as soon as you see them, I'm sure. This is, can I get you any closer? Yes. This is Garrett Deadeye. And he is the leader of the Deadeye gang. He is a mercenary and they are going to be out to make money. And they are going to do this by going into any bandit caves or places like that that they can find and they will be getting jobs who want mercenaries for hire uh, off of bulletin boards in the various cities and uh, so of course this is Anigo and Carjo this is the first time I will have been working with Anigo and I always have to have Carjo because I love him I did an alternate start, and so um, Garrett came with this uniform. Uh, he came with a, I think it's an iron sword. <clears throat> and I've upgraded his things to fine, and I got, he acquired a bow and arrows from somewhere. I forget where he picked those up at. But, we are going to be bent on upgrading their uniforms and their equipment. <clears throat> uh, anything I find better, I will acquire. Uh, anytime I can make them better, I will do so. <clears throat> He's going to be bent on very few perks uh, because <clears throat> he's not going to be into everything in Skyrim game. He's just going to be a mercenary going about Skyrim having a good time uh, but his perks that I'm going to concentrate on is for archery because I love archery and two-handed weapons heavy armor smithing and enchanting so he can keep their armors updated <clears throat> sneak and speech so he can sell things at a decent price um, He isn't going to be going around picking ingredients everywhere, every, everything he passes, like I have been wont to do in previous series. <clears throat> and all I do is accumulate stuff and very seldom do anything with it. So he's going to concentrate only on things that he can pick as he goes past them that will give him, um, let's see, what did he, poisons for his arrows and health and stamina. That's the main things he's gonna concentrate on. Okay, he is going to eventually acquire the transmute spell that's in that cave on the other side of Skyrim so that he can make money. And uh, 
Okay, he's going to get his jobs from billboards, exploring, and talking to people. So, grandkids, let's get this show on the road, shall we? Well, men, they finally let me out of that jail. I didn't mean to get in that barroom brawl, but I'm glad you guys hung around and waited for me to get out. Um, man, I'm really glad that that border let us across the, uh, that guard let us across the border. We got this whole country of Skyland to explore now. Look up at the stars, now. my friend. Aren't they beautiful? Yes, they are, Nego. Yes, they are. Okay, let's, we've got to find a town that we can go into. We need a drink and some food. And see if we can pick up a job. We need horses under our feet, not our feet. I'm going to get tired of walking. All right, guys, let's go. I don't know what awaits us down here or what we'll be coming to, but at least we're in a new place with a new start. I'll try to stay out of trouble, too. I don't want back in jail again. If it gets too late and before we come to a town, we Most could come back here and camp out for the night. Yes, I know. Most people are in their beds. Too bad we aren't. Hey, look what was going on here. Ooh. Boys, we might have to come back and check out that trail. I don't know where that'd go. There might be something good up there. It is good to be out here burning energy. When the world rests and the hours are small, I always feel more inspired and motivated for some reason. It is good to be out here and burning energy, amigo. Karjo, why don't you come up here? Walk with the rest of us? What's this place? Whoa, what was that that flew over? Now ain't this a surprise? Uh oh. Already on weapon, my friend. There is killing to be done. Already, my friend, yes. Let us end these cowardly controls. Take that. All done? Just like that, men. When the job needs done, we get it done. Okay. I don't want no scraggly fur armor. This one might be worth selling in town. Could sell that longbow. Pick up some more arrows. We need some decent arrows, men. Keep your eyes out along the way. You don't need to stand guard over him, Anigo. He's dead. Oh, he had some gold on him. We need that, guys. We gotta get some horses. Steel sword. Let me see. What? is my sword. A steel great sword. Yeah, upgraded to fine. Okay. We shall just leave his there. I didn't expect to run into a bunch of guys in here. 
Hey, there's a lock bit in case we need to unlock a chest. We got quite a bu bunch of stuff off these guys to sell. Cargo's got a massive weapon. Amigos. Is that an ebony sword he's got? Good job, man. Can we sell these? I am not... energy that'd give me. I better take those. And that salmon. Wish I could take that barrel. I wonder what it's got in it good to drink. Probably some mead. Nothing in the pot. I don't want any of that. I probably won't be cooking anything. Don't want to carry around a big leg of lamb whatever that was. I don't want any food stuff. All right, men, let's truck on down the road. If we get attacked by wolves or anything, I better have my bow out there. And those are big birds that keep flying overhead. Every time I see that big shadow, I think it's going to be a dragon. I'm not ready for that. Look at that scenery, guys. Well, there's another house. We must be coming close to a town, yeah. I say, as I see a bridge and a town. a farm. Here's another farm. Hey, chicken. I think you got outside the fence, didn't you? You're gonna get killed out here. <gasps> Don't lay that set down there and lay an egg outside here. Well, there's another one. You chickens are just out of your element. Look at this place. It's cold here, men, but it sure is pretty, isn't it? Something on your mind? No. Any thoughts about where we're at or anything? I'm thinking the stars look amazing yes. tonight. Yes, they do. What's next? What do you, you are think? taking us somewhere warm, I trust. <laughs> no. Does it look like it? Look around, Carjo. Lead on, friend. I shall. Uh, 
That's a walled city. We might be able to pick up some work in there, guys. At least we'll get something to drink and eat. More houses out here. In the morning, maybe we'll get around and talk to some of these people. And uh, see what's going on around here. A cart for hire. Oh, that's the man. He camps out out here. That's the driver of that cart, I guess. In the stables, there's horses. He's only got two. We need three. Where's this horse at? Hitched up to his cart. All right, what's happened here? Someone just dumped their cart here? Okay, let's go back. I hope it's not too late to be going in here. I hope the guards will let us in. We really need to get a place for the night, get some rest. Not that I haven't rested long enough in jail, huh? Guess I'd better put my weapon away. It's no secret the Aretino boy is doing some ritual, trying to call the Dark Brotherhood. And who's going to stop him? Me? I'll have no part of that. I don't blame you. That sounds kind of sinister to me. I fear the night, because the werewolves and vampires don't. Ooh, you got werewolves and vampires around here? Let's get inside. What was the name of this place? Hey guys, I did pick up a map from uh, one of the guys when I was in jail. I had to pay him for it, but maybe it'll come in useful for us. Let me see if this place is on there. Windhelm. There's where we came across the border. Okay. You come here where you're not wanted. You eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the Stormcloaks. But we haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Imperial spies? You can't be serious. Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight, little spy. We got ways of finding out what you really are. Well, hey guys. <sighs> Maybe I might get to Do pay you, you a the visit. Dark elves. Are you here to bully us and tell us to leave? No, no. I don't hate your people. You've come to the wrong city then. Windhelm's a haven of prejudice and narrow thinking. Unworthy of one such as you. Thank you. You don't even know me, but. No, I don't hate you. Looked like those Nords was giving you trouble. Nothing new there. Most of the Nords living in Windhelm don't care much for us. But Rolf is the worst by far. He likes to get drunk and walk around the Great Quarter yelling insults at us in the small hours of the morning. Oh, a real charmer, that one. <laughs> he sounds like a real charmer. <clears throat> Maybe I can cross swords with him one of these days. Why would anyone think you're a spy? Some of these Nords will come up with any excuse to despise us. And it isn't just the Dark Elves they hate. They make a target of the Argonians as well. 
In fact, just about anyone who isn't a Nord is fair game for their bullying. Well, I'm a Nord, but I don't go along with that kind of thinking. Maybe we'll meet again. Mm-hmm. And this looks like a rugged place. Before we go find an inn somewhere, let's check out these messages up here. They're all empty? Well, for crying out loud. All right, let's go find the tavern, boys. Whichever way that might be. Candle Hearth Hall. I'm glad they've got places marked on these maps. Is that what this was up here? Yes. Sounds like an inn or a tavern or something. No one's here. Is everybody in bed? Hey, bang on the table. What's this? Read monthly events. Dynamic holidays. Alduin has not been defeated yet. The Civil War has not ended yet. Oh, how strange this place is. Options. Oh. What is this? Such a shame what happened to Susanna. Her beauty was the only thing, thing worth suffering this place for. Whatever you say, and Is that all? I gotta find somebody that works here. <laughs> hey, anybody around? This isn't any way to run an inn. everybody. I know it must be late at night, but still there should be an innkeeper around somewhere. Ooh, what do we got here? Oh, that was just the back way downstairs. Well, men, I guess we're not going to get a drink tonight. Or early this morning. That's the back side of that bulletin board, so I suppose it's empty also. This is a really torn up place. Stay away from the Aretino residence. The place is cursed. Well, what I've heard about it so far, I think it is too. You know what, guys? I don't really like this place. They're not even open yet. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, let's hang around a bit and see if anything opens pretty soon. Finally, somebody's here. And I'll send someone over. All right. Guys, sit down, or come around the bar, get something to drink. This here's Candle Hearth Hall. Great rooms upstairs, and there's a bed for rent on the ground floor. Okay. Got some fresh baked bread and good cheese if you're after a bite to eat. Uh, all right. What have you got for sale? Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Okay. I'll buy two ales and a I think I'll have a wine. They can have ale. Um, we'll buy one, two, three pieces of breads and some butter to put on it. And some cooked beef. We can share that, can't we guys? Okay. And I'd like to rent a room. That's okay. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show. Well, hang on a second. Man, here's your bread, ale, and butter. Let's eat up and go rest a while. And uh, get a little bit of sleep, and then we'll head on down the road. To your room, right this way. Okay, I'll follow you. Come on, man. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Where'd she go? Oh, okay. Thanks. All right, now that this room is mine, can I take any of these potions? That's stealing. I just rented this room. What's all this in here for if I can't take it? Well, bummer. All right, I'm going to get a couple hours sleep. And then we're going to head on down the road. Because there is nothing in this town that I seem to want. Hey, who are you? Why are you standing in One my room? One of the best soldiers in the Stormcloak army. Until I took a sword to the chest. Well, that's better than an arrow to the knee, isn't it? No, maybe not. Hey, you got I'd a scar just like me. I'd be out there fighting like the Imperials me. right now if it wasn't for my war wound. You're lucky it didn't put your eye out. Ever since that Imperial Craven ran me through from behind, I've had trouble breathing. I don't have any trouble drinking, though. <laughs> you might leak like a sieve, though. 
Sorry, man. That was I once killed bad six job. men single handed while rescuing my brothers in arms from ambush by an Imperial patrol. Sound like a good man. But I still would like to know what you're doing I'm too in my room. I'm proud to admit that I need a bit of help from time to time. Oh, yeah? What kind? Need something? Here, have a gold piece. Is that what you mean you oh, need help? Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Good you, day. You know, man, you're not supposed to just walk into a person's room when they're sleeping. Good to see you again, friend. Just because you want a handout? You can get yourself killed that way. Come need on, something? amigo. Where's Carjo? There you are. Why are you standing out here? Let's go on down the road. This is a terribly torn up place and strange things going on in it. And they don't even have any jobs for hire yes. on their bulletin board. This is a beautiful country, I swear. Waterfalls. But I'll be glad when we get out of the snow. It's kind of cold up here. But Nords are well known for their thriving ability against the cold. Come on, beasties, come on. Here we go again. Whoa. Do you guys see that? Car show? I don't think you even got a shot in. Take that. You just now getting up here, Anilo? What was you doing back there? Maybe I'll just keep the sword out. Man, that was pretty good. Companionship did you guys see what I did to that wolf? Who could ask for more? Yeah. Look. Look. Is that a picture or what? All right, hand over your valuables or I'll gut you like a fish. No, it's Tron, but you don't scare me. Oh. I'm not going to ask again. I don't have time for this. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm keeping my sword out at the ready from now on. Hey, he's got a garnet we can sell. And a lockpick. A torturer's hood? I wouldn't get ten bucks for that at a 
crater. Oh, look at this. We are going to be stopping along the way to admire the scenery. I'd like to trek up that mountain, boys. See what's up there. Let's not forget that trail we passed back there. Maybe we should have went up that before we left this area. Oh, we'll get back someday. What's this? Angus Mill. All right. Hey. You want to chat? Huh? I don't need to talk to you. Get lost. Oh, well, for... Excuse me. The people up around here aren't very friendly. Nico, you don't even have to see me draw my sword. You are out in front of me and you still draw yours every time I draw mine. That's pretty cool. You got eyes in the back of your head? Whose little camp is that? I used to work at Angus Mill, but I, I had to leave. Why? Why did you have to leave? Someone's after me, I tell you. They're watching me. Somewhere. Are you paranoid, man? Don't talk to me. You could be one of them. Well, all right. I swear. We need to get away from this whole community. giving you trouble? It can't be helped. Indeed. <laughs> Hairball giving you trouble? That wasn't very kind. Well, this road is going to nowhere, it seems like to me. But there's nothing to do but keep on going. There's nowhere to stop. Isn't there any other little town? What's that up there? Do you see what I see up there? that wolf go? He wants to jump out at me and ambush me. Come on. Where you go? Are you hiding behind the tree? There you are. Come on. Thanks, Carjo. 
And Nico, you're lagging behind. I always wonder what you're doing. Well, that was just a rock formation up there. I thought it was going to be a, I don't know, cave or a den or something. Sorry guys, I gotta check things out. There could have been something back there. Now look at this. This is the markings of somewhere. We are headed toward Whiterun, Markarth, Solitude, and back that way is that Windhelm. I don't like that place. And Riften and Winterhold. Riften is back the way we came? How could that be? Did I turn off somewhere I shouldn't? Let me look at my trusty map they gave me. How did we get way over here? I wanted to come down here. Oh well. It doesn't matter where we go. We're coming to a road here that we can come right down. Oh, let's see what's down in the valley and get out of the snow. All right, let's turn around and keep on going the way we was. The days are wasted. We gotta find some job. Come on, Wolfie. Don't run away. You took my kill. Boy, I got your ebony arrow. That must have come from Amigo. He's got an ebony bow besides his ebony sword. Yes, you have. The wolf just took down that goat. I'll take your hide. I'm not gonna worry with the rest of it. There's another wolf up there. Ooh, and another one. Stinky wolf. <laughs> Is that all of you? Oh, look, going up there. Shall we, boys? Shall we? Let's see. Yes, I think we should. Okay, everybody, grandkids, I think we're going to leave it here. And when we come back, the three of us shall see what's up there. Adventure, adventure. We shall leave it right here. Goodbye, everybody, and I will see you in the next video. Your homeland is a feast for the eyes. 
Yes, it is, Nico. You should talk to Karjo more. He's not saying much. I think he's getting used to you yet. All right, grandkids. Bye-bye. See you. Native.